Villanova, one of the hottest teams in the country, climbing up the Big East ladder. But can they win Friday night at West Virginia, a team in desperate need of a big conference win? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down this Friday night game. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Clark Kellogg uh, to break this one down. And Clark, six straight wins for Villanova, and they've scored 102 points in each of the last two. They are putting some major electrolytes in that water in Villanova, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I agree with you. I actually had a chance to see them in person um, at Providence, a high-scoring game. That one was as well. Um, they're right around 100 points a game in their last three. I think they scored 94 in that win at Providence. But they're doing it with tremendous versatility and outstanding balance. Um, Jay Wright is getting contributions from everybody he puts into the game. Um, he's putting three, four, five guys in double figures on a regular basis. And they're beating teams, Jason, with freeze free throws, reads, reads as in rebounds, and then the three-point shot. I mean, they're winning those battles regularly, and that's why they're scoring the points they are, and that's why they're in the midst of a six-game winning streak. And they're also getting contributions from different players. Uh, you've yep. had Reggie Redding have a big game. I mean, you get Dante Cunningham, Scotty Reynolds has had 27, the two Corys, Fisher and Stokes. But the focus of this team, and, and, and I think the reason they've been so good, Clark, is because of the development of Dante Cunningham. Yeah, he's been outstanding. I mean, it's wonderful to see a guy come into college as a freshman, show you tremendous potential, and then reach that potential as he's a senior. I mean, his body has been transformed. He's strong. He's active. He's athletic. He's confident as an offensive player. Uh, he'll get it in the post. He'll get it in hustle plays, running the floor, getting putbacks, um, and he'll make moves down there in the mid-range area. So he's really expanded and developed as a player, and that's always – um, a credit to the young man, but also a credit to the coaching staff. And um, it's fun to see. He clearly has been a force, despite sometimes giving up a little size to opposing big guys. Uh, so take the way that Villanova's playing right now and put it up against West Virginia. Do you think the Mountaineers, with the way they play defense, can slow this team down? Well, the issue for West Virginia is that the Mountaineers have struggled to score. Uh, when they have scored the ball and made the good shots that they get, Jason, they've been successful but there have been too many games where they have really labored to put the ball in the basket. And at the end of the day, it's wonderful to play great defense. It's excellent to crash the glass and take good care of the basketball. But somehow you've got to put that thing in the hole. And West Virginia has really struggled to do that. If they make shots, they'll be in the game and have a chance to win at home. If they continue to struggle making shots, and if Butler and Alex Ruoff, Deshaun Butler, and Alex Ruoff aren't able to have really strong offensive games. I think Villanova just has too much firepower for um, the Mountaineers to prevail. Ruoff and Butler averaging about 33 points combined, but when you talk about in the wins, the losses, there's a huge differential uh, between those two guys scoring in wins and in losses. Clark, it sounds like you're taking Villanova here on the road to continue this win streak. Yeah, I am leaning that way, although Bobby Huggins was my graduate assistant coach when I was at Ohio State um, back in the late 70s, early 80s. It would be a terrific win for his team and for him. But um, I think the Wildcats are going to push the streak to seven wins in a row. All right, Friday Night Basketball. Clark Kellogg, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you this weekend on CBS. All right, Jason. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Also read Gary Parrish's article about this and his blogs all throughout the weekend as well. For Special K, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.